depart from iniquity. They call to run and to flee from sin. It's not an option. If you must live a glorious life, if you must see Jesus face to face, if you must behold him that life, Father in heaven, we want to appreciate you for our privilege of hearing from your word. We ask that even this morning, the entrance of your word that giveth life will come upon our heart, upon our soul, and upon our body this morning in Jesus' name. Speak to us in a language you understand that your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, friends. This morning, quickly I'll be sharing with you a scripture from Scripture of us. I'm reading from Isaiah chapter 52. And in verse 11, but uh, the key verse we are looking at this morning is 2 Timothy chapter 2. And in verse 19, 2 Timothy chapter 2, and in verse 19, that person, and that the scripture says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standard sure. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standard firm. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standard sure. It remains the same. Nothing can change it. Nothing can avert it. This, the standard of God remains sure. Having this seed, having this instruction, having this revelation, having this, uh, bearing this information, the Lord knoweth them that are is. That is the key word. The Lord knoweth them that are is. Then having this, having this instruction, having this seed, let now let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Let any man, let every man, let every soul that is named by the name of the Lord, the name of Christ, depart from iniquity. What does it mean? Is it mean to depart? To depart means what? Is to to abstain, abstain from iniquity, abstain from iniquity, Abst- withdraw from wickedness. Leave it, let everyone that is named by the name of Christ depart, abstain, renounce every form of unrighteousness, separate from every form of rebellion, spawn out, shun every form of wickedness. He said, Nevertheless, the foundation of God remains sure. Nevertheless, the words of God remain sure. So, every man, let every soul that is named by the name of the Lord depart from iniquity, depart from evil, depart from unrighteousness. Let every man, let every soul, let every being, let everybody depart from iniquity. We are expected to depart from the works of darkness. Beloved, the standard of God's words are sure. It's firm. It's ever settled. And nothing on earth, no force on earth can shake it. If he gives you a promise, the promises stand. If he gives an instruction, the instructions stand. If he says if he say, asks us to abstain from every form of evil, every form of unrighteousness, it means what he said, and he stand by that word. The foundation of God remains sure. Human ideology cannot change it. Human feeling, your feeling, or your temper, temperamental weakness cannot change it. The standard of God remains sure. The observations of man cannot change it. The opinion of man cannot change it. The wisdom of man cannot change it. It was a yea and amen. Nothing on earth can change it. No one on earth can change it. The foundation of God remains sure. The foundation of God remains sure. In Isaiah chapter 52, and then he said, Depart ye, depart ye, ye that bear the vessel of the Lord, depart ye. Isolate yourself, separate yourself, ye that are called by the name of Christ, separate yourself from that evil, separate yourself from that sinful life. The most anointed man of God, the most anointed person on earth, the most anointed man or woman that has ever lived on earth. Standard of God's word, we cannot change it. It remains the same. Nothing can change it. You can't change it. Depart from your sin today. Separate from those things today. 
Sin is sin, no matter what definition you give to it. In our present day, some people call it temperamental weakness. We give sin different kind of name, but that does not mean sin is not sin. Sin remains as sin. The call this morning is that let us, let everyone, let myself, let you depart from every form of iniquity. Separate yourself from every form of iniquity. Depart, turn away. Turn away from that from that, that deadly ways of life. The call to separation is the call to separation is not a joke, beloved. Let me tell you, the call to separation is never a joke. It's a serious matter. If he says we should come out from them and be separate, he means what he says. The call to consecration. Hey, beloved, the call to consecration is not a child play. He has called us to, to, to present ourselves as living sacrifice unto him. Nothing can change that until we present ourselves as a living sacrifice. Our service is not acceptable, it's not receivable from us. The standard remains sure. No matter the age, no matter the dispensation, all what is said that the standard of God remains sure. Let every man depart from iniquity. Let every woman depart from iniquity. Let everyone called by the name of the Lord in all situations, in every location, depart from it. Not minding the race, not minding the age. Depart from iniquity. The call to run and to flee from sin is not an option if you must live a glorious life if you must see jesus face to face if you must behold him the last day if you must, if you must be ready for him to come and take you say behold i come again he's coming to take his people home if we if you must see jesus at the end of the day run flee from sin is not an option. It's a command that you must obey. It's a command that we all must obey. That we must flee from sin. We must run away from this. In many organizations, as the year comes to an end, they are balancing their account so that they have a particular statement they will give at the end of the year. The statement is that, is my work this year profitable or we are lost this year? This is the reason why organizations at the end of the year do, 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 do finalize the account of the year balancing the account of the year now this unfortunately and i may ask you this morning what is your account with god as human being all what we are running after is the organization to make sure the organization is at is, is updated with their account but what about you personally do you have an account with god have you set your account with god this year are you on the right ground with him is your name still in the book of life by the beginning of the year everybody was consecrated lord i will do this lord i will serve you they say now look into the record is your name still in the book of life is your name still in the book of life is are you standing with the lord are you still on the lord's side do you have a right ground with the lord it's a question you must ask yourself even as the year coming to an end beloved the standard the words of the lord remain sure nothing can change it human wisdom cannot change it our theology cannot change it our weakness cannot change it when the Bible we say that god understand blessed of a truth god understand what did god understand god understand that sin is sin no matter how we paint it no matter how we define it no matter the name we give to it no matter even if we call it temperamental weakness the same thing sin is sin what is your statement what is the statement of your account with god this morning what is the statement of your account with God this morning? What is your statement of account? Are your life still right with God? You see, have your name in the book of life. It is you see, have your name, your name in the book of life. 
sleeping and waking up every morning is a sign is a is is a simple it's, 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 it's a sure it's a sure assurance for us that even as god even as christ said he's going to come again there's a sure assurance of that christ will come and should sleep every day and wake every morning is a proof that yes of the truth that the standard of god remains sure no sinner has a party with christ don't be deceived by your gifts. Don't be deceived by the anointing. If your ways are not right to God, if you're not having a right stand with Him, you are not with Him. Depart, depart. Separate yourself. Ye that are called by the name of God. Don't be deceived. The devil know who you are. Heaven know who you are. You can only deceive yourself and deceive people around you. Heaven know who are. Now they said the, the Lord knoweth those who are is. Look at it again. Second Timothy chapter two and verse say, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standed sure. The truth, the sea, the truth, the revelation standed the same. What is that revelation? The Lord knoweth them that are is. Are you of the Lord? Did the Lord know you? You are working for the for the for, for the Lord, but you are not working with the Lord. Why not set your account with Him this morning? Why not set your account with Him at this very moment? Now that you have the opportunity, why not say, "Come unto Me"? No matter how your sin looks, no matter your carelessness, no matter what you have gone through, come unto Me. Set your account with Him this morning. How will you do that? By surrendering your life to God. Beloved, the, 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 as the sun rises and is set in the evening, it's approved, it's approved that yes, of the truth, the word of God remains sure and nothing can change it. It's sure. Beloved, it is sure. Don't deceive yourself. The word of God is sure. Every promises he gave to us are sure. Every instruction he gave to us are sure. Every command that he gave to us has shown nothing can change it. It's like an instruction that is engraved on his on the rock. It's an instruction that is engraved on the rock. Nothing can change, nothing can wipe it away. It remains there from ages to ages. It remains. That is what the God of God is. The standard of God remains sure. And he said, What we should depart from every form of iniquity. Your unbelief cannot change it. Your rebellious, your rebellious heart cannot change it. Why I? Why will you not return to him this morning? Why will you not return to him this morning? He said, now he's calling you. Turn from your iniquity. Turn from your wickedness. Turn from your wrongdoing. Turn from your unrighteousness. Turn from that evil. Turn from that rebellious heart. Turn from disobedient. Turn from sin. Beloved, depart. Abstain. Isolate yourself renounce separate shun all those evil ways and the lord today will make your life right with him the opportunity is right before you this morning men are dying day after day the people that started this month with us and they are nowhere to be found the people that started this year and they are dead already People are dying every day. People are returning home with account, giving a stand of their life to the master. But the question is that what is your account this morning? You can make your way right with him this morning. Number one, accept that your life you are living is not good enough. Number two, believe that Christ alone can save you. And number three, confess him as your Lord and personal Savior. And redemption and freedom and salvation will come to you this morning. In Revelation chapter 22 and verse 17 said, he said, the, the, the bride, the bride, the, the spirit and the bride said, come, let him that is at test come, let me go to that place. I want to take it exactly the way the scripture put it. I want to take it exactly the way the Lord, the Lord commanded it and the way the, way the Lord pleaded with us. The way the Lord kept everything before us in, in Revelation chapter 22 verse 17 said, the spirit and the bride said, come, and let him that hear it said, come, and let him that is at test come, and was Whatsoever will is by your own willingness, it's not by force. You must be willing. Acknowledge that you are a sinner. Believe that Christ can save you. Confess Him as the Lord and Savior. Christ is calling you this morning. The Spirit and the Bride said, Come. And we are telling you this morning as ministers, we are calling you this morning to return to the kingdom. And if you come today, the life will be a better one. 
And I pray that even today, as you return to Him, the Lord will make you right. Can you say this prayer after me? If you want to dedicate your life to Christ, if you want to surrender everything to Him, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner, and I know you came to die for me. On the cross, you paid the price for my sin. I know that I cannot help myself. Wash away. Say, Lord, Lord, make me whole today. I surrender all to thee, and I ask that today, Lord, be my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, I pray. If you pray that prayer, I congratulate you because you are now, even as you have set to the account with God, the grace to stand to the very end, the Lord will give to you. And I pray that the Lord will bless you. I know the atmosphere is completely charged from last week to this time. Several programs have been going on air over, over, over from the last week to this time, and the, the program still going on and going on. I pray that let everything the Lord has destined for you this moment we will receive in that name of Jesus. Father in heaven, we want to appreciate you for that entrance of your word, and we ask that even today, let your word do us good. Give us the grace to be obedient to your word. Committing this week into your hands, Lord, make manifest yourself, make manifest your plan, make manifest your purpose in our lives in the name of Jesus. I come to take authority over every spirit of affliction, over every spirit of death, over every spirit of sickness. We decree this morning and so you will declare you powerless over the life of God's people. In the name of Jesus, let every blessing destined for this year do not pass us by. Release it upon us, O God, that your name alone be glorified. As we gather at your feet this morning, let the heavens be open. Let the heavens be open. We shut every mouth. We shut every evil report we shut every evil or conspiracy in the name of jesus and we declare that even this morning your mighty heart your delivery hand will be upon every soul in the name of jesus thank you father because of answer in jesus wonderful name we pray amen thank you for joining me and i pray that the lord will grant you the grace to stand with him to the very end thank you and god bless you